I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question on Z-score. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, try it out, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, find Z-score for the following data. So first we'll see how to find Z-square. And the second part is, show that the mean and the standard deviation of the Z-scores are 0 and 1 respectively. Now, part 2 is true for all the z-scores. So this is actually true in most cases, correct? So we'll show from calculations that it is true here also. So if you get that kind of a thing in multiple choice questions, you should remember that mean and standard deviation of the z-scores is 0 and 1 respectively. Perfect. So first part, let's find z-score first. So I'll write the given values in the form of a table. Let me just make a table here. Okay. So in the first column, we will just write the values, which are for us 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, and 23. Right. So these are the values. Now to find the mean, we have to add them up. So let's add them up. So what we have is 12 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18 plus 19 plus 23 equals to 102. 102. Now that is that is sigma x. Now what is n equals to? n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. And once we know that, then you can always find mean. So mean will be equals to ratio of these two. So 102 divided by 6, which is, let me divide this by 6, 17. So we get the mean 17. Now we can find what is x minus the mean value. Correct? So that's the second column. Okay. So 17. So 12 minus 17 will be minus 5. This will be minus 3. This will be minus 1. That will be plus 1. That is 2. And that is going to be 6, right? And now we have to find square of these. So x minus x bar whole square. So squares of will be all positive 25 9 1 1 4 and 36 let's add them up okay so we have 25 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 36 equals to 76 so if we add them up we get 76 so, so let me write here sigma of uh, x minus x bar whole square is 76. Now that helps to find the the standard deviation, right? So so now we say standard deviation. Uh, we are using this as a population is equals to square root of that sum, which is 76, divided by n, which is 6. So I'm not writing the formulas. I hope you remember them. 76 divided by 6 equals 2, and then we'll do square root of our answer, which in decimals is oh, 3.559. So we'll do 3.56. Okay, so we'll round it to 3.56. Not bad. Correct? So we get the sigma. Now, since we know standard deviation, we can now find the z scores correct so let me now find the z scores so we'll start the second part of it which is finding z score so z score as you know is ratio of this difference uh, let me say z score is x minus x bar over sigma which is 3.56 correct so we know formula is z score is x minus x bar over you write mu, right? But anyway, we'll write this. We are taking it as a population. <clears throat> so 
So we already have this column, x minus x bar. We'll just divide by 3.56 and write all the scores. Okay. So those who are on the left side will have a negative z score. So 5 divided by 3.56 equals 2 in decimals. Now all these numbers I'll write to, well, that's tricky. Uh, I wanted to write to only two decimal places, right? So I'll have, these are negative answers, okay? So the first one is 1.40. So we are just approximating. We may not exactly get 0 or 1, but we'll be close, correct? Uh, now we'll do 3 divided by 3.56 equals 2. Decimal value is 0 0.84, 0 0.84. And then we have 1 divided by 3.56, which is equal to, in decimals, 0 0.28, 0 0.28. Uh, these values will be positive. Uh, so let me write this as a, a positive 0 0.28. Okay, for 4, I'll have to calculate. So 4 divided by 3.56 equals to decimal 0, 1.12. And for, uh, I'm sorry, I should have taken 2, right? Sorry. Uh, not 4. We are looking into this column, right? We are looking into this column. Okay. So I have to divide 2. So 2 divided by 3.56 equals 2 in decimals 0 0.56 so let me correct that yeah so it is uh, 0 0.56 correct okay uh, and then we have 6 divided by 3.56 equals to in decimals 1.68 1.68 correct so these are the values which we get now let's try to find what is mean of this. Now we'll try mean of z-score. So we'll add them up, right? So the sum of z-scores, we'll add them up. And then we'll divide by 6. We'll divide this by 6, correct? So let's do that, which is... So let's add positive values first. 1.68 plus 0.56. Uh, plus 0.28 uh, and then we'll take away 0.28 we'll take away 0.84 and we'll take away 1.40 and see what it is so it comes to 0 do you see that so the numerator is 0 0 over 6 is indeed 0 so we are sure that the mean is 0 perfect now since the mean is 0 the next column will be same as this since we want to write uh, uh, z score minus uh, the mean which is zero right the mean is zero so let me call as zero mean so that means we get the same values perfect so we could now just straight away square it and write to find cal uh, standard deviation so i'll square these numbers and write down so i hope this step is clear uh, 1.4 whole square gives us in decimals, uh, 1.96.84 square gives us in decimals 0 0.7, let's call it 1, 0.28 square equals to in decimals 0 0.71, okay, all are positive, 0 0.28 uh, square, I think I, I missed 0 0.84, anyway, let me just check. Uh, in decimals is 0 0.71. Oh, I'm writing them wrong. It's 0 0.071. Okay, so it is 0 0.08. Here it is 0 0.08. Let me calculate that again. So 0.84 square is equal to in decimals. That is correct. 0.71. That's correct. So we round it. Now we'll do 0 0.56 square. 0 0.56 square equals to in decimals uh, 0 0.31 and 1.68 square is equal to in decimals 2.82 so that becomes the squares and since we know the squares now so so the 
the standard deviation for the z scores will be square root of sum of all this, correct? Uh, divided by 6. Okay, so let's find what is sum of all this. 1.96 plus 0.71 plus point, uh, zero. I didn't write plus. Okay, let's 0 0.71 plus 0 0.08 plus point zero eight plus point three one plus two point eight two so what do you get in decimals you get five point nine six right so you get five point nine six now this is actually almost six correct since we rounded some numbers we're getting slightly less than six anyway if you divide this by 6 and then if you square root it, then what do you get? You get 0.99, you get 0 0.9966, which is approximately equal to 1. Perfect. So we see that the standard deviation for z-score is 1 and the mean for z-score is 0. So that's very important to understand. So I hope you get it. For all the z-scores, whenever we calculate, their mean is 0 and their standard deviation is 1. Feel free to share your comments and if you like and subscribe my videos, that will be great. Thank you for watching and all the best.